How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, actually, to um, Popco's Arcade 2020 Edition The Dead Forest. Now, you might actually be wondering, why am I back here? I thought, I, I thought you were done with this series, but, but in all actuality, I forgot one thing. Because I was watching a video in which apparently there's something different. Um, if you beat Dead King Freddy at 100% completion, which we have now, which also I seen in a video that you're. So the thing is that after you got like the secret ending with Black Rabbit, um, where you saved Black Rabbit or Bonnie. Um, the key would disappear, and you wouldn't be able to go into the into the code. But apparently, if you so if you go from like any of these menus, I think it's mainly just continue. Let me see. Yeah, only continue, and you press the the right key one, two, three, four, five, five times. Uh, it would move over to this axe, and you have to click click space enough times until you hear a laughter sound and the axe disappears. Then you'd be able to actually get the key and do everything again if you ever want to just go back there. But that's not what we're here for. We're here just to uh, find out whatever the secret is because I never actually... I never actually um, found out for myself. But yeah, as you can see we can't actually do it. We don't got the key. Let's just get the king. Wait. No, 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 no. Alright. The thing is, I need a lot more money. Just because. I used quite a lot of money whenever I'd be fighting dead whenever I fought Dead King Freddy. So I need to get some more items. I'll have to check out how many I have of each. Now like things like the smaller items I don't actually really need. Um since I have so many of them, like the berries or acorns. I definitely need to go to the nearest store. Go over here, because I know because I know it's really close, like right over here. Alright, I only have one acorn, but I have a whole bunch of fruit. I have three pizzas. Alright. I think that might be enough. Alright, back into the garden. Save at the end. But this will be a very quick video, in which the thing is that the only reason why- Excuse me. The only reason why I know it's different because, uh, like, first of all, the text turned gold. Um, and then they started, like, zooming out of the arcade machine, so I knew that there was something different, but I didn't see the full ending. So, what I'm doing is that I am going to see if I can defeat Dead King Freddy again for the third time. And get this done with. But this will definitely be the last video unless something new was added. Alright.
Invincibility shield. Jump. Wait, what? My defense goes away. And why did my health go down so much? I don't get it. Alright, boost everything. Look for 135. Invincibility. Pizza. Look for 135. Attack for 30. Jump. Avoid his attack. Look for 90. Oh, he reflected. Wait, what? go through the entire cutscene again. It's like, what the heck happened? Like, he got- he's been getting harder every time now. Cause it, this, that was the first time I ever seen him re reflect one, one of my attacks. And also, I've seen like a video where Freddy has had like only a thousand health and only 50 attack. But why does mine have 75 attack and and 1,200? Boost defense. Boost attack. Jump. Look for 135. Attack for 45. Strike him. Pizza. Invincibility. Look for 90. Attack. Jump to dodge the attack. Up for 135. Attack for 45. Definitely jump. Hook. Um. Invincibility shield. Whoop. No, 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 no. He's a full health pizza. Up for 90. Increase that. Fruit. Look for 135. Use a full pizza. Attack for 45. Jump. Also, one person said that. I remember at one point someone said that they noticed that. 
Oh, bonus. Strike. Got to jump. Attack. One more hit should do it. There we go. But the thing is that people said that it sounded like Theodore March from the first FNAF game, in which I can actually see... I was able to hear the resemblance as well. Alright. Alright. But geez, that was so much harder than... Uh, than like any other time. I, I fought him. Because he kept up. I don't know why, but I feel like that was just my items. So I just didn't have that many. But let's see what the true ending is. I've seen like screenshots, and I, which I didn't even know it was actually. I didn't even think that it was actually real or something, but a lot of people kept on using it. So. Let's see what it is. You win, completion, 100%. Now here it is. The true ending. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look on the right side, the super fun claw. What's that? Oh hey, it's Pop Goes! I... Whoa! He looks cool! Wait, he wears a bandana around his... Oh, you know, he wears a cape? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's got the green glowing eyes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, these are the actual credits. Now hold on. Someone, I remember someone in like, just, well not really someone, but like on YouTube, but not YouTube, on Google, I remember seeing an image on, on this screen, and the thing is that like each of those arcade machines had like different lights and everything representing the, the glowing eyes of each animatronic. Um, which was really neat, in which one of them was actually one of those machines was actually a printer, which was what Pop Goes was looking at. Also, the thing is that the reason why I actually wondered why I never knew him wearing the outfit was because that's what the redesign part was. After like doing like some and watching some videos and such, like like a review and such from some YouTubers, one person recently said that the entire game was actually being rebooted, which, in which apparently like all the models were going to be like redesigned and everything. Now it's like, of course the characters aren't going to be like changing drastically, but it seems that like, for example, Pop Goes, he's having that green vest that he wears like from Pop Goes Arcade, which is actually really neat. And that's what we just seen him wearing. That's like his new model and everything. But one thing that I'm still actually really concerned about was that thing, you can even still see it right here on the the far right side of the screen. You can just like barely see his eyes, but he, it's, he was seen in the Pop Goes, um, I can't remember what it was exactly called, but I think it like came with Pop Goes Arcade 2, and... It was like a whole bunch of like files and such of like a whole bunch of different animatronics and like unused characters and such from the from all that's going to be coming up in future projects like Pop Goes 2 of course. One of them looks, I mean that head looks very familiar and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people um, have the same idea as well. But yeah. That is basically the end of it. I've found... 
I've now... See, you can even see it right now! Right there, inside the arcade machine. But yeah, now that I have finally found everything. Now, I'll still keep the title on my last videos, saying that was a finale. Well, actually, no, I'll change it to where it says part... Um, like, that part, but then this being, like, the true finale, of course. But I just wanted to do it just so that I can now show 100% of the game completed with everything now. All endings and everything. But yeah. Um, I'll see you all in the... And, but yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this series. And everything that we have done in it. I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!